Okay guys, so in this video we're going to show you how to assemble a damper and what goes inside of one. So we have the, first of all the body with the control. This is the pressure tube with the foot valve ready in place. The foot valve controls the pump, the damper. This is the capillary tube, or sometimes as a cap tube, uh, that the oil will throw, flow through this from the gland to the base of the unit, which gives you the uh, adjustable damping. This is your rod and piston assembly. You've got the gland on there, which the oil will flow through, an O-ring, retaining top nut, the stem top. On the bottom you have the piston set up with the shim stack in there, preset for the rebound for this damper. Gas bags, the cell goes inside the damper to help prevent cavitation. You get the body of the damper itself. And the next step is to get the capillary tube, which locates in the base of the damper. The oil will flow through this tube into the control which gives us uh, our damping effect. And this is located like so, into the damp base unit. Located in the base damper like so, and tap in place. Up next we take our gas cell. These are here to help prevent cavitation. And these are slotted behind the capillary tube, just to hold them out of place whilst they're in the damper, one thing one, a small one. Depending on the size of the damper, will determine how many gas cells it is required. Okay, so we have a gas cell in there to help prevent cavitation, uh, which basically is uh, an air pocket in the damper. Uh, you can't fill the damper up to the top with oil because, much like a liquid, much like a liquid you can't compress oil. So if you fill it to the brim. You have to press damper, it's just going to hydraulic lock and there'll be no damping at all and you'll have rock solid suspension which you don't want. The gas cell is there because the air can be compressed and it takes up the free space left if you had air in there instead. Uh, if you left air in the damper, when the damper's going down for the motion, the oil is going to froth up, change the viscosity and it isn't going to work as well. Next we take pressure tube, the foot valve assembly. This is what the rod guide and this assembly will go into afterwards. Um, the oil goes in here and it's pushed through the foot valve when the damper is up and down which gives us our, our bump setting on the damper. This locates in the damper like so. The so next step is to add the damper oil to the damper itself. So next we take the rod guide assembly and locate it in the damper like so and then slot the guide into the top of the capillary tube like so and it's just located in position and secure. Now it's in place we put the o-ring down with the machine groove and it's all secured with the retaining top nut. Thank you.